Dag allemaal, Mulweni Nonke. Good day, everyone. A warm welcome to the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology. I am Professor Marshall Sheldon, the Executive Dean of the Faculty. On behalf of the Nelson Mandela University, it gives me such great pleasure to welcome all the parents, the guardians, the partners, the family members, and a special welcome to all of the learners. This faculty aligns with the vision of our institution, which is to be a dynamic African university recognized for its leadership in generating cutting edge knowledge for a sustainable future. We also align with the institution's mission, which is to offer a diverse range of life-changing education experiences for a better world. This university is the only one in the world that carries the name of the late Nelson Mandela. And collectively, we strive to embody his legacy, ethos and values. As a faculty, we strive to prepare graduates for jobs that do not yet exist, to solve problems not yet defined using technology not yet invented. Our goal is to graduate responsible global citizens that can solve real world challenges in service of society. The faculty has roughly 5,800 students, of which 91% are undergraduate and 9% are postgraduate students. The faculty consists of four schools, the School of Architecture, the School of Built Environment and Civil Engineering, the School of Engineering and the School of Information Technology. Within these four schools, we have 15 departments that offer a range of qualifications, including higher certificates, diplomas, advanced diplomas, and bachelor degrees, as well as postgraduate honors, masters, and doctoral qualifications in a broad range of disciplines. By now, you would have applied for and is either fully accepted or provisionally accepted into one of these programs within the faculty. Thank you for choosing our institution and our faculty for your studies. Please allow me to share with you how these programs will be delivered and give you some examples of the exciting projects and state-of-the-art facilities, equipment and laboratories you will be exposed to and the kinds of experience and opportunities you will have once you join this faculty. The delivery of the programs, of the academic programs, will be through what we refer to a blended learning mode. This means all students must physically be available on campus for on-campus activities such as practicals, laboratories and studio-based activities, and for hands-on projects. These will be complemented with online activities. The ratio and the mix of the on-campus and the online activities will depend on the specific program, the discipline and the subjects. Technology and specialized software are used in various programs for design, optimization, automation, simulations, data management, project management, quality and analysis of systems, processes, and components. For the delivery of our programs, we engage with partnerships and collaborations locally, nationally, and internationally with industries, government, communities, and other higher education institutions. One of these important stakeholders is the professional bodies for accreditation. Our programs are regularly accredited by the relevant professional bodies, such as the Engineering Council of South Africa, the South African Council for the Architectural Profession, 
the South African Council for the Project and Construction Management Professions, the South African Council for the Quantity Surveying Profession, and then the South African Marine Safety Authority. Having our qualifications accredited by these bodies give confidence to the industry and other stakeholders about the quality of our programs and that increases the graduates' prospects of employment opportunities as well as becoming a fully registered professional. During your studies with us, you will be exposed to the different requirements of how to become professionally registered with your relevant professional body. The faculty also has various laboratories, infrastructure and facilities that provide unique student experiences such as in the School of Engineering, Digital Systems Laboratories, Robotics and Control Facilities, the Department of Industrial Engineering have a state-of-the-art Industry 4.0 automated production facility that simulates a work environment. In the School of IT, students involved in the Computer Society will get to work in the LEGO Lab and be exposed to training in LEGO Robotics. In the School of Built Environment and Civil Engineering, the Bitumen Laboratories provide students with experience in testing for strength of materials and in soil testing and this allows the student first-hand experience of how these aspects are addressed in industry and the real world. Across the faculty we have computer laboratories, 3D printing facilities and centres and so much more. The faculties, departments and entities are involved in a range of exciting projects. Projects that include but are not limited to renewable energy including solar and wind energy, autonomous vehicles such as drones and marine gliders, new energy vehicles. We have a fully funded e-mobility live testing station on campus and an industry-funded chair specifically in automotive engineering looking at e-mobility skills development. We have advanced manufacturing technology and testing facilities. We also have sustainable green building and housing projects such as the Eco Sun of the Grid Village here in the Eastern Cape, designing of new buildings, redesigning of reuse spaces, computer applications for sustainable architectural development. We also have projects in cybersecurity, software development, communications networks and artificial intelligence for various applications but more importantly to solve real world challenges. During your studies some opportunities may also arise to be part of local, national and even international competitions such as the E-Formula Student Africa Racing Competition. This Formula Student Africa focuses on e-mobility and knowledge transfer. Students within the school may have the opportunity to work on projects related to the design the manufacture and even actual racing of an e-formula racing vehicle. The BRICS Future Challenge is a national competition where the national expert in the drones competition for South Africa is within our own autonomous research group. And students from the school was announced as the industrial digital twins in the 2020 competition. The Robotics LEGO League, which introduces science, technology, engineering and mathematics through fun, exciting and hands-on learning, gives participants real-world problem-solving experiences through guided robotics programs. The Future Design Competition and the Future Corobrick Architectural Students Awards Competition is also another opportunity. 
Students from the School of Architecture has been announced as the winners of this competition for the last five years. For marketing and communication, the faculty uses its official website, supported by social media, to share information on the faculty's academic programs, facilities, events, as well as potential bursaries and funding opportunities as they become available. We also share information about different industries and employment opportunities. For more information and detail on our academic programs, please visit the faculty website. For more information about these opportunities as mentioned, please follow us on our social media pages and platforms. Once you have registered with us, you will be assigned an official student email, which we will use for official communications. For more information about funding and bursary opportunities, please visit the institution's financial aid office webpage. A special message to all the grade 12 learners. To those of you still busy completing your grade 12, we would like to wish you all of the best and good luck with your upcoming final examination. If you work hard and stay fully committed, matriculating will open up amazing opportunities. What you do with those opportunities is up to you. I know you will all do well and we look forward to welcoming you in our faculty very soon. And then a very special message to all the female learners. Engineering, the built environment and information technology disciplines have traditionally been perceived as male dominated disciplines. But as you can see, I am a female, I am a chemical engineer and I'm currently the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology. I have some amazing female leaders as a Deputy Dean and Heads of Departments and as part of this team within our Faculty Management. Please do not let anyone tell you you cannot be an engineer or you cannot be an architect or any one of the other professions. Do not let anyone stand in your way. In our faculty, we provide opportunities for support and mentorship programs through structures such as the Women in Engineering Leadership Association and the Built Environment Ladies Association during your journey here with us. Learners that will be registering with us next year will be invited to specific orientation programs on campus. The details of these sessions will be shared at a later stage. We will use our Telegram app and you can download this app for further communication. Please find the link for the Telegram app. As I conclude, thank you once again for considering Nelson Mandela University and the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology as your choice of study. Entrusting our faculty with your futures and the futures of your children is a task we do not take lightly. We accept this responsibility with the seriousness it deserves we will support you in every way possible and help you to become the best you can be. But this process is a mutual partnership between us and the student, with the student taking shared responsibility for their studies. Deciding to continue with tertiary education is one of the most important decisions that you have taken as it will impact on and pave the way for the rest of your career. This is not a decision to take lightly. Choose well knowing it could not only make a difference in your life, but also in that of your family and your community. 
Your tertiary education will be one of the most challenging and yet one of the most rewarding experiences. When you join us at the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology at the Nelson Mandela University, we will support you to make your journey a success. I would like to encourage all of you to join us in making this a diverse and inclusive faculty so that we can change the world together. Bayadanki in Korsika Kulu, thank you very much for your time. Music